Meanwhile, in Boston, there were two more homicides in Dorchester late Friday. Now, Jim Smith reports that marks three straight nights of violence in the area. The first half of the July 4th weekend was violent in some communities. There was an extremely frightening incident right here in Braintree, but sadly, that was not the only one. An altercation amongst two groups uh, inside the plaza. Chaos at South Shore Plaza. A fight between two groups erupting into gunfire in front of horrified shoppers on a holiday weekend. As the bullets flew, they ran for cover. It was the scariest thing I had ever seen in my entire life. To see people run the way they did, but they were yelling for everybody to leave, to get out. A 15-year-old girl was shot and wounded, and now a suspect is charged in that shooting. 21-year-old Jose Rodriguez of Boston, facing several charges, including assault to murder. Police do not think the girl was even involved. We were told she was actually not even near the group um, when she was struck, so we don't believe she had anything to do with it at all. But the mall shooting is only part of a disturbing larger story. A 15-year-old boy was shot and killed in Roxbury this week, only one of a rash of homicides in the city, leaving the community traumatized. Actually, right as I walked through these doors, the gunshots rang out. I could have been hit. My son could have been hit. My 13-year-old son who walked in the door just before me could have been hit. Friday night, you two others were killed in separate incidents in Dorchester. A stabbing and another incident that witnesses said was a fight. A few nights ago, the mayor spoke out. As we head into this weekend, I'm asking, I'm asking people who are involved in the violence in the city of Boston, put your guns down. If you're looking for support, you're looking for help, you reach out to us. Tries to act like it's fucking Iraq Boston or something. police are working on all of these cases. As far as the Braintree fucking case goes, that shit. suspect is being held without bail. In Braintree, Jim Smith, WBZ News. Investigators looking into the cause of a deadly fire in Weymouth. The firefighters responded to an apartment building on Mediterranean Street around 2 o'clock yesterday morning. Inside, they found the body of 40-year-old Bruce Miller. Investigators say he used a wheelchair to get around. They don't suspect foul play was involved in this fire. Deadly motorcycle crash in Dorchester. This happened around 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon on Geneva Avenue. Police say the crash involved a car and a motorcycle. The motorcyclist went to the hospital with critical injuries and was later pronounced dead. And police have not released that victim's name. A teenager in Ipswich suffered life-threatening injuries in a boating accident. Investigators say all four people on the boat fell overboard as it was taking a turn. And the boat started going around in circles, eventually went over the 19-year-old who'd been driving it. He was flown to the hospital. The boat eventually crashed into a houseboat, which is owned by the victim's family. Massachusetts Environmental Police are assisting in this investigation. No one else was injured. Fourth of July celebrations here in Boston and in many parts of the country were canceled because of the coronavirus as new cases continue to surge in at least 39 states. And Michael George reports President Trump's Salute to America event went on as scheduled in the nation's capital. President Trump and hundreds of guests celebrated the nation's 244th birthday on the South Lawn of the White House. Our goal is not to destroy the greatest structure on earth, what we have built, the United States of America. The president's salute to America marked the 4th of July with patriotism, pageantry, military flyovers, and politics. We are now in the process of defeating the radical left, the Marxists, the anarchists, the agitators, the looters, and people who in many instances have absolutely no clue what they are doing. A fireworks display attracted visitors to the nearby National Mall. Earlier, some expressed concern as the U.S. grapples with new surges of COVID-19. We don't want to have a big celebration that's fun on the 4th of July, but then later to find out that it's caused a second surge here in D.C. Florida hit another daily record in new coronavirus cases, more than 11,400. Miami-Dade County beaches were closed for the holiday to keep away crowds. Kim Stone is among the many who kept the holiday low-key this year, taking her boat out on the water in Jupiter, Florida. I love the 4th of July, love to celebrate, love the sunshine. Stone says she and other boaters played it safe by keeping keeping their distance. And in New York City, the national September 11th memorial reopened to the public more than three months after the memorial was shut down because of the virus. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Now here in Massachusetts, this is the eve of phase three. Governor Baker moving forward with the reopening plan since the numbers continue to trend in the right direction. 
uh, check the numbers here. There were 210 confirmed and probable cases reported yesterday. Number of hospitalizations dropping again, now down to 640. And the positive test rate, still around 2%. What a bunch of bullshit. The Red Sox still awaiting some test results, but we've now learned the two players who've tested positive. Dan Rose reports they're both Fucking in quarantine terrible. this morning while going through the MLB protocol. Well, good morning. We learned on Friday that two players had tested positive for the coronavirus for the Red Sox, but we didn't know who they were or where they were. Well, we found that out. When Does anybody really give a fucking shit about the Red Sox or the Patriots? Huh? Fucking Boston Bruins, huh? All sports suck. They're all rigged. They're all run by millionaire pieces of fucking shit. Billionaires. Give me a fucking break. What a fucking scam. You know, sports are for little fucking kids, man. Go out and play a game. Hey, get your heads out of your fucking adult asses, all right? Move the fuck on. Watch how your country's fucking you over. Now, both Taylor and Hernandez, seen here from this past this spring training fuck. in Florida, will now be quarantined for two weeks until they test negative for the virus. Taylor is a big left-handed yeah. pitcher who threw pretty well last year for the Sox, while the lefty Hernandez had 22 scoreless appearances in the second half before tiring down the stretch. As for Eduardo Rodriguez, he remains at home in Florida. When someone near him tested positive for the virus, he's awaiting his test results. If they come back negative, he'll join the Red Sox up here in Boston. Look at this prick, right? He's working at home. Working at home. He's not quarantined. He's just working at home. Fucking pile of shit. Propaganda scumbag. Still ahead this Sunday, new recommendations to keep your body healthy through the pandemic. Plus, canceled July 4th events didn't keep people from lighting up the Boston skies. We've got to look at just some of the homemade and, oh, by the way, illegal displays. Hey, illegal. Go fuck yourself. You're illegal, you rat prick. Illegal fireworks. You know, it's unconstitutional, man, to ban fireworks. Only in a rat piece of shit, liberal scum sucking maggot fucking state like Massachusetts could you get away with it. Fucking rats. Make me want to fucking puke. Scum sucking fucking maggots, every one of them.